JBN will keep you informed. I'm Michelle Jones and in the news, suspect in Rockford shooting killed by police. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. At least one person was allegedly involved in Monday evening's fatal shooting in Rockford, Kingston, has been shot and killed by police. According to the superintendent of police in charge of the Kingston Eastern Division, Tommy Lee Chambers, a team of officers, based on information received, carried out an operation on Rosden Road in the community Tuesday morning. She disclosed that during the operation, one person was shot and killed and a gun seized. The identity of the suspect was not revealed. She was joined by Prime Minister Andrew Holness and the Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang during a visit to the Pleasant Heights and Oliver Road sections of Rockford following the mass shooting at a football match which left five people dead and the two injured. Yesterday, the Pleasant Heights team along with the Base One team seems fit to come together to have a friendly football competition. At the end of the competition, Base One team, they won the first prize. So they were here awaiting their first prize. However, they see it fit to have a spelling bee competition and also a bun eating contest. Whilst they're having fun, a group of men walk up in the crowd and open gunfire at some of the patrons, hitting seven persons. Five succumbed and two still remain in hospital. Not serious. Sir, since then, we have imposed a curfew in the Rockford area just to contain whatever situation or if any situation should arise and to um, put, um, prevent any reprisal. So far, my team have been on the ground. We have been getting support from Era 4 and uh, SO and right across from um, MID and they have been inside the area. My team this morning also received information somewhere along in the Rosden Road area that one person who involved in the situation that occurred yesterday and they went on an operation and we had a fatal and a, a firearm also recovered. We will continue to pursue, sir, and no stone will be left unturned. What is happening here is not something that we are accustomed to in the Kingston Eastern Division and we are not going to sit back and relax and allow any more of this to take place. Um, discussion with the Deputy Deputy Commissioner of Warren Clark, we immediately authorized a curfew for the area, um, which is 48 hours, and the police of course took steps to um, close down the area literally and see and ensure that they would not want stepping out and they could operationalize their team and find whatever intelligence they could find and identified perpetrators. They see to have quickly identified who was involved and they are not pursuing them as aggressive as they can. And if they are as aggressive as they can, this kind of activity cannot be tolerated in the least and the police have the full authority to pursue. If the current is needed for a longer period, I have the authority to extend it and I will so do at the request of the commanding officer of this area. At the same time, I had discussions with the acting CDS who um, has indicated his full support of the police and I understand that from the JDF supporting team and the police officers and the officers from the special operations team of the police were out here last night into this morning to continue to carry out activities to find and apprehend these characters who have carried out brutal activity in Pleasant Heights. We extend our sympathy to the families who are affected but we will pursue the perpetrators relentlessly and apprehend them and ensure this kind of thing will not be itself in this area and in the rest. Pleasant Heights. Pleasant Heights, but it has a very pleasant view. <laughs> if you could see where I'm standing, I'm presented with a lovely vista of the harbour, a lovely view with the cool breeze blowing in. It's very relaxing. It belies a great danger that exists here, and that is organised criminal violence. We call them gangs. Uh, before I continue, let me express my deep condolences to the family members of those who perished in this very brutal attack where 
five persons were killed. And as I'm looking, I'm looking at one of the cars in which uh, one of the victims perished. The challenge that we have always had in communities like this is that there are persons who claim that they lead the community, that they have some leadership role, and they ascribe to themselves the title Don. And there is a battle for control, for turf, for whatever reason, whether it is uh, to control drugs or scamming or whatever criminal activity, or just an ego issue. And uh, these persons enlist young men and uh, try to get them to carry out their illegal activities. For many communities, uh, the, the residents see this as just part of normal existence. There is someone there who is claiming to protect the community. There is someone who you can go to for immediate assistance. But I think more and more Jamaicans are realizing that these men who claim to want to protect the communities or call themselves elders or don or dads or whatever term they may choose to describe themselves, they are nothing but criminals. JBN will keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.